Hi, I'm Scott. Welcome to Goldwing Docs. Today it's a product review day. We're going to check out an inexpensive electric battery powered impact wrench from Handlife coming up next. So I get a lot of product review video requests from various manufacturers. Uh, most of the time I say no because they have nothing, little or nothing to do with anything motorcycle. This one I saw, actually, I think I'll say yes to this because it's an electric brushless cordless impact wrench. Now these are quite expensive normally, but this one's relatively inexpensive. I'll put an Amazon link down below. So let's open this up, have a look and see how it works, how well it works and whether we can recommend it or not. Okay, I will admit I'm a little bit selfish about this one. I have had an impact wrench for many, many, many years. However, mine is an air tool. So, it, I mean, it's extremely powerful, but anytime I want to use it, I have to make sure I've got my compressor running, which is really loud. I have to wait for it to pump up. And then if you're using it a lot, then you might draw down the compressor and then you got to wait for it to charge back up again. I've been meaning to get myself a decent electric impact wrench for a long time. These used to be junk, I, I will tell you right now. However, with the advent of high current lithium ion batteries, these are actually quite powerful now. So let's have a look and see what we got. And again, the uh, manufacturer of this product is not paying for this review. They sent it to me they, with no conditions. If I think it's junk, I can free to say so. Other than that, let's have a look and see what we got. Okay, it comes in a nice blow molded plastic case. It says hand life on it, you can see there. Let's open it up and see what we have. Now, this is likely not going to be charged up, but we'll see what we can do. All right, so we have an instruction manual and what looks like inside there is some metal rods and o-rings all right so this may be a little more involved than just unpacking and going okay so here's the charger and nice little charge cord on there we'll undo that and plug that in all right lights up let us know that it's working and here is the battery so let's it is a 20 volt 4 amp hour battery and it looks like it has a little bit of a partial charge maybe a half charge so we'll stick that on the charger and it looks like you just slide it in there and as soon as you do it turns red to let you know it start charging okay what have we here oh my goodness look at this they have included some high hardness impact sockets. That is a really nice feature. Look at that. And these are definitely impact sockets. You can tell by the, the high quality steel. You don't want to use regular sockets because they are brittle. Uh, they're strong, but they're brittle and they will fracture if you try to use an impact uh, wrench on them. So nice that they included, let's see, a 23 millimeter 21 17 hopefully a 19 yeah so a 19 and 21 that's going to cover you for most cars that you're ever going to come across uh, most car lug nuts are going to be those two sizes you might come across a 23 once in a while i don't know that i have ever encountered a 17. so let's have a look at the wrench itself it's actually quite beefy That's nice. Okay, so a standard on and off. That's pretty much every torque wrench has the same thing. If you push this side in, it's it's tightened. If you push this side in, it's loosened. And then a trigger to pull it. We have a half inch drive on the outside. Um, looks like we can actually check the value of the battery by pushing this button. So let's take the battery off the charger and see what happens. And there's obviously a lock or something. Oh, there it is right there. So you got to depress that, slide it off, and then we will stick that onto the impact wrench. Okay, so we push this, what happens? Nothing. Oh, it lights up. 
So I'm not quite sure what that button there is supposed to do. It looks like a power button, but I'm not seeing... Oh, okay, so that's what it does. It would be nice if I read the instructions, but hey, I'm trying to figure this out as we go. So you can adjust the power settings of this by pushing this button. So here it's the lowest impact setting. Here it's medium, and here it's the highest. And when you press the but when you press the trigger, it lights up here to show you the battery state, which shows two two bars. It also has a nice little flashlight in there, which is a nice feature if you're working in the dark. As soon as you press the trigger, it lights up. All right. Well, that seems to work very well. So I'm going to pause this for a moment, and I'm going to have a look at this instruction manual and see if I can figure out what these extra little bits here are for. 12 seconds later. Okay, so I futzed around with this for a little bit trying to figure out what these extra parts were for. It's not mentioned anywhere in the manual. In fact, the manual is very, very brief and doesn't say much more than how to put the battery on and off. Um, and, you know, what the torque button does. I figured that out without the manual. So I looked at it and figured it out for myself. So what this is for... So a lot of times you will have a ball bearing, or in this case you can see we have a split ring on here. And that's what retains the socket on the end of the torque wrench. And you can see it, it, it snaps on and off. Now let's say you were going to be putting this somewhere where you didn't want this to actually come off. You want it to be a permanent part. You, don't, you want to be able to yank it off and... and uh, especially if you if this gets yanked onto a uh, lug nut that has corrosion, you can end up with the socket jammed on the lug nut and you pull the torque wrench off and it just comes off and now the socket is jammed into the, the lug nut. So let's, uh, let's put this 19 millimeter on here and you can notice it has a hole in there. So I can put this rubber ring around the outside here. I'll just roll it up there. Put, line up the hole here with a line up in the, the chuck there. I'll put this metal rod through and then roll this rubber ring on top. That holds the rod in place, hopefully, if I can get it in place like that. Okay, well, good theory anyway, but the idea then is that you can't pull that off. It's stuck in there and it's not going to come out. I suppose it's not going to actually move that pin because the ring is pushed up against it. So I'm guessing that's what this is for. It doesn't say anywhere in the manual that's what it's for, but that's what it looks like to me, and, and it seems to work that way. So, uh, I've had this charging not for too long. It did have about half a charge. Let's take it upstairs, and I will try it on my car and see how it works. So, having a look at my car here, the first thing I notice, here's the 19-inch socket that it came with, and it's really tough to get it on. In fact, I can't get it on much more than that, really. Now, these lug nuts have expanded a little bit, so they are snug to begin with, but there's just... I mean... I really can't get that on there. As opposed to the socket, this is the socket I have uh, that I use with my impact, my air impact wrench, and you can see it just, it fits right on there. So, these sockets seem to be very, very snug. Maybe that'll change with a little bit of use, but... Uh, I don't know for sure. Now I've put my impact socket from my air wrench on here and we'll fit it over there. Set it to go off and see what happens. Oh yeah, no problem at all. It just whips that right off there and let's tighten it back up. Yeah, and as you can see, it, it tried to pull that socket off there but I managed to get it out. All right, so this has so much power. Uh, this, is, this works great. So I have no qualms about this at all. That was, uh, this lug nut was 100 foot-pounds of torque because I torqued it myself. And this, this wrench knocked it off there like it was nothing. So this thing is tons of power. And that was with half a battery. Uh, let's see what it says on there. Yep, definitely half a battery. And I used a little bit of battery up doing that. But wow, that thing just whipped that thing right off there without even breathing hard. Pretty impressive. Okay, so now we're talking about this, this, this impact wrench. What does this have anything to do with a motorcycle? Well, believe it or not, I have used impact wrenches on motorcycles many, many times. Okay, on the 1800, yes, you have lug nuts, and this is perfect for, for putting them on and removing them. However, whenever you have a really stuck fastener, an impact wrench is a perfect thing to back that off. If you have a fastener that's rusted in place or it's seized or otherwise you can't get it off or maybe you don't have enough room to get your ratchet in there, if you can just maneuver this in here, get it on that fastener and just back it out, it, it saves so much time and effort. 
I should mention that you should never really tighten things on with a lug with a uh, impact wrench, especially lug nuts. You can get them zipped on in place, but don't sit there and, and hammer away and tighten the the, uh, the lug nut with uh, an impact wrench because it's going to be putting out way too much torque. So get it snug when you're putting it back on, and then use a proper torque wrench to actually adjust the the, the correct torque for that fastener. Actually, I'm pretty impressed with this little thing. It has quite a bit of power, and uh, obviously I haven't tested to see how long this battery will run, but with four amp hours, that's a, a pretty significant amount of power, and it's a pretty beefy uh, size battery there. So I have no doubt you would be able to remove and reinstall four wheels on a car with this thing and not even use a quarter of the battery. Just from feeling the torque that it was putting out, um, I'm guessing you could do 200 foot-pounds with this, no problem whatsoever. I don't know what the manual actually says it'll do, but that's that's my calibrated wrist feel. Let's see if it says anything in here. It says it goes up to, the specifications in here are in Newton meters, but it's in low, it's uh, 220 foot-pounds, 600 is about uh, 440. 440 foot-pounds of torque? Uh, I think that might be optimistic based on what I was feeling. I don't know for sure, but that's just my my gut feel. Is it worth the price? I think so. It's actually a, a pretty decent quality tool. The, the fit and finish is, is pretty decent. Um, it's brushless, so there's no brushes on it to wear out. It has a nice textured rubber grip. The only thing that's a little chintzy feeling is this front and re uh, forward reverse switch. Um, finish on that is a little bit rough but I mean other than that it feels like a solid quality tool is well balanced uh, has a, a one-year warranty on it so I, I'm gonna say it's 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 a pretty decent tool I, I'm gonna recommend it I would ask if you're gonna purchase this tool go down to the description of this video and click on the Amazon affiliates link I have down there that generates just a tiny bit of revenue for us you know a dollar or two uh, every time you buy something. And in fact, you can click on that and then just go to Amazon and buy anything you want. It doesn't have to be this. And every time you do, do that, it generates a little bit of revenue for us and helps the video channel, helps us put the uh, website out because that website is really expensive for us to do. Well, that's it. If you like what you saw here today, if you found it of any use, please click like, subscribe, click that little bell. That way you'll be notified every time we post another one of these incredible videos. Also, don't forget to check out the Goldwing Docs website. I'll put a link to it down below. There's so many friendly people there, 90,000 Goldwing owners just like you, waiting to help you with any problem you might have. There's also hundreds and hundreds of product reviews on there written by Goldwing owners who actually use this stuff and know what they're talking about. Check it out down below. Thanks for watching.